let's say assuming that is your stopping criteria then you stop so when you stop your answer will be equal to the midpoint of these two value lower bound upper bound so when you take the midpoint or the average of the lower bound upper bound your answer should be somewhere between 2.62 and 2.66 that answer is right here which is the midpoint and the function or the I mean, uh, the uh, the value of theta is the same you see theta is the same 0 0.52 and the the optimum at the optimum the length should be equal to 2.6459 based on golden section by the way you can also figure out the optimum solution by doing the analytical derivative for example from this given function f depending on l alone you can easily figure out the first derivative of f and then take the first derivative of f with respect to l set it equal to zero and then from that you can solve for l okay and if you do analytical derivative you will see the answer is and should be very close to the answer that you got earlier using the golden section method so that will take care for you the give you the optimum solution in iteration one along the direction of the first variable which is length or in this case we call it the direction one zero that itself does not complete even iteration one yet because you have to continue to do the similar thing for the second variable which is theta or we call it the direction zero one as you will see in the subsequent slides so let's see what happened to the next few slides okay so here it is now you remember at the end of iteration one after you finish the optimum solution in the direction one zero you know the length should be 2.6459 so now when you try to do the iteration one but in the direction zero one that means in the direction of the second variable theta all you have to do is you go back to the function f again but this time you keep the variable length is a fixed number so whenever you see the length you just replace by 2.6459 whenever you see the length you put 2.6459 whenever you see the length in the formula you replace by 2.6459 that is the value that you got from the previous slide so now the function that you want to optimize in the direction 0 1 that means in the direction of the second variable theta is given by the first equation here on the screen well that is easy because now you can see the function f now depending on only one variable theta a, sum, a function of only one variable theta so you can easily obtain the optimum solution along the direction 0 1 or along the direction of the second variable theta by using golden section again and using the golden section again I'm not going to waste my time a lot you start with iteration 1 <coughs> the lower bound and the upper bound initially you estimate based on the observation that I discussed with you earlier then you figure out the two interior point then you figure out the function value evaluate at the two interior point then you figure out the so-called interval length interval length which is the difference between the upper bow and the lower bow <coughs> and
and then depending on f of x1 is bigger than f of x2 or smaller or equal you will updating the new lower bound like in this case but the new upper bound is the same thing as in the previous iteration and then calculate two new point interior point again keep in mind that this new point you already got it from the previous iteration so you only have to calculate one new interior point and then after that figure out fx1 fx2 and the new interval length and the process repeated repeated until you go to iteration number nine you find out that the new lower bound is 0 0.85 the new upper bound 0 0.88 so the difference between those two lower bound upper bound will give you the interval length that interval length is less than 0 0.05 which is the convergent criteria specified by you for example so you stop and when you stop your optimum solution for theta should be the midpoint or the average of the lower and upper value so if you take the midpoint or the average of 0 0.85 and 0 0.88 the answer is theta should be 0 0.87 so to summarize it, this value 0 0.87 you can obtain by the golden search method or you just simply from the given function f you just set the derivative of f with respect to theta equal to 0 from that you can solve for theta and that theta should be very close to the numerical result that you got here which is 0 0.87 so to summarize it so far what do you have at the end of the first iteration you figure out the optimum solution for L is 2.64 the optimum solution for theta is 0 0.87 and that will complete one iteration and then you repeat the same procedure again for iteration 2, 3 until you cannot go any further and then you will see the optimum solution we obtain at the end, at the very end will be what? L should be 2.00 something and the angle theta should be 1.04 radian you obtain that after five iteration okay and that answer is very close to the exact answer that is the end of the lecture here is the acknowledgement more information you can find in the mathforcollege.com Thank you.